Raphael, great to see you. Welcome to London. Uh, when did you arrive and what have you been doing since you arrived? Uh, I arrived last Wednesday. Yeah, staying, walking in London, watching London Bridge, Big Ben. Yeah, and I still watch, want to watch like London Park. Yeah. Yeah, they, everybody talk about it. I still have a watching this and uh, yeah. Being a tourist. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> been over here before, spent much time no, in London? No, first time, first time in London. All right, so what have you been up to, man? You've been having a look around or? Uh, just trying to get on, uh, get on schedule with sleep, mostly. Um, yeah. You know, just hanging out, resting the body. But yeah, we went down to, uh, what was it, Harrods? Yeah. Checked out Harrods, went to uh, Gordon Ramsay's Burger Bar. Nice. Delicious burger. What did you get at Harrods? It's a good, uh, good place to spend too, too much money. Too rich for my blood, yeah. No, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> a lot of window shopping. Yeah, nice, nice to get around though, right? I yeah, mean, it was nice. It was nice to get out and about, uh, see the city. Mm -hmm. you know, like I said, I had never seen it. We drove by uh, Big Ben. Yeah. Uh, Coach Luke thought we were going to see the Eiffel Tower, but I told him <laughs> the wrong place. Is London a place that you would ever visit just for fun? or? Yeah, that's, that's very good. I, 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 like to, I like to city when, have s when, when, when city has some story. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and here I have a lot of, uh, I see some, some, some buildings like have two, 200 years, 300 years, oh, yeah. 400 years and more. And this is like very good energy. We are delighted to see you. Um, we're so excited to see you in action oh, yeah. on Saturday night. I think I'm right in saying since you've come to the UFC, every fight you've had, you've either won fight of the night, performance of the night, or it's been both. a championship fight, or both. Yeah. I mean, yep. that is quite the record, my man. I cleaned up uh, two bonuses in two of my fights. I had uh, nine bonuses in my first seven fights. It's uh, definitely a record that will never be touched. Is that a point of pride for you? I mean, you know, in, in hindsight, yeah. Especially because it's in my bank account already, so that's nice. But <laughs> uh, it's not the intentions going in. I mean, in order to get two bonuses, you got to get your ass whipped a little bit and then come back and finish them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll try to avoid that for the rest of my career, but if it comes to the territory, I'll take it. Would you describe yourself as someone who's a fan of Justin Gagey? No, I, I don't, I'm not his fan, but I really like his style. And when he his debut and all his career in the UFC, I watch it. I watch him, all his fights in the UFC. I watch him alive, you know, always. But I have have people like him, like Max Holloway, example, like George St. Pierre, like like John Jones, like who I like to watch his fights, you know. And um, yeah, and now I going to fight with him. I'm so happy because like I see how my way, how my way going, like so nice. This yeah. is my career is going so 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 beautiful because I go and fight with people who, who I like it. We spoke to Raphael earlier. He said he's always watched your fights. Look, he's below you in the rankings. Presumably, you haven't spent too much time in your career thinking about Raphael Fazil. I mean, I've watched some of his fights. You know, especially when I got the fight, I wa went back and watched all of his fights. But um, it's one fight at a time. Um, I'm a huge fan of the sport, so I watch all cards. Mm. So when he was on a card, I watched the fight. But no, I wasn't specifically honing on him, um, you know, during that during that occasion. But again, when I uh, when the fight got signed, I definitely watched all his fights with that mindset. Has he made much of an Im impression on you? Yeah, he's he's got tons of skills. Mm. Um, crazy, like he has to be, and um, emotional, which is a good thing for me. Mm. Right. So how important could that be on fight night? This is the, you know, the, the highest up the bill he's been for a numbered card. The fans are going to be going ballistic yeah. when you two guys come out. Do you think that could affect him? You know, um, I don't know. No. Hope so, I guess. But it's not something I'm going to be thinking about. You know, you got to be perfect in these fights. And in order to be perfect, you really got to be concentrating on yourself mm -hmm. um, and emotionless. So that's what I'll be. All my career in the UFC, I want to fight here. Because uh, I see how how nice fans here, how the how the going to to the arena and uh, how the screaming all this you know, and I always want to fight here because uh, because when I fight I like I like hear how how fans reacted for my for my fight reacted for my punches kicks for my movement, yeah, and uh, in this fight I do everything for people remember me in this area. The atmosphere, the crowd, the noise, what you're saying you enjoy. 
Um, Justin has experienced that at the top level. Um, I mean, you have been at the top level for a while, but perhaps this will be the biggest, loudest crowd. The atmosphere will be crazy for you. Um, are you happy that you have the experience that you are ready for that? Yeah, I'm sure I'm ready for that. I'm sh it's, it's not pressure for me because because I'm so happy for staying here. Yeah, it's a it's my goal mm -hmm. staying here. It's my goal for way for way to coming here, and uh, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. That's why I'm I'm, I'm not thinking about it. I'm, I'm happy a lot. <laughs> yeah. Can you describe to us what it's like? Because I think normal people would struggle to understand what fighters are thinking during a fight and where your mind goes. I think yeah. for someone like you especially, when things get particularly hectic, when I'm sure you have to go to a pretty dark place to, to keep going, yeah. can you kind of describe to, to normal people like us what's yeah, going uh, through your head? I think you just really have to trust in the process that, that got you here, you know, the preparation that you put in. And when it comes to like actual thoughts in the, in the cage, I don't think, I don't have any. Or if I do, I don't recall them. It's moving so fast, your ability to retain information is not there. Um, so whether it's happening or not, I mean, you're constantly using your, your intuition to judge distance, judge uh, timing. And you know, I don't think that there's specific thoughts that go into that. I so think, it's not um, like the movies. There's not a montage in your head of all the things you've been through in your life uh, and you're something that Trevor said to you in training camp or whatever. No, in between rounds, you know, you can, you can pull yourself back. But honestly, you just have to be um, emotionless. Mm. Um, you know, any emotion causes a thought, a thought causes a, a pause in action. And, you know, in those moments, you can, uh, you know, not see what's coming. I think uh, trusting in your peripherals, trusting in your instincts is the only way to go uh, when you're in the fight. Could I ask you about your thoughts of some of the other contenders and champions, maybe just the first words that comes to mind? We'll start the champion, Islam Uh Power. Uh, Dustin Poirier. Uh, boxing. Charles Oliveira. Uh, the nearest Targaryen. <laughs> Very good. Okay, just Very Targaryen. 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 Just Targaryen. Very good. Um, <laughs> Vanille Darius. Как сказать старость? Old age. Old age, yeah, old age. Okay. Um, Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler is a is a bomb. 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 Yeah. Or bomb. 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 <laughs> bomb not bomb. Yeah, not okay. bomb. Okay. Okay. Um, and Justin, Justin Gagey? Justin Gagey. Justin. Track better than my track. Um, Raphael Fazeev. Crazy. Yeah. Good crazy? Yeah. Do you think Justin is crazy? Justin? I don't think he's crazy. Mm. I'm crazy. Y you and Raphael Fazeev, has there been much backwards and forwards here? or? Uh, not really. I mean, he's a young guy, you know, crazy like I was five, six years ago. Uh, talks a lot of <laughs> online, but pretty respectful when I saw him upstairs right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you speak to him? Shook his hand, said what's up, but that's about it. He says he's crazy. He says you're not crazy. Is that about right? Yeah, he doesn't know me, so <laughs> I don't know why he would think that. Can you try and describe... If you've ever seen me fight, you know that I'm slightly crazy. Every single one of us is crazy that's stepping in there. Yeah. Uh, we're facing a mental challenge, and you got to be crazy to, to accept it and move forward. And you beat Justin, you move on to top five title shot. Have you had any conversations about what, what will come next for you? Um, I'm still having a fight Saturday. I don't want to talk now about, about what next. Uh, but I'm sure, I'm sure some next, I'm sure, I'm sure a good fight yeah. on Saturday. And after this, I have something, what I want to say. Yeah, but I say this on Saturday. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How's f Fight Camp been with you and Kamara working side by side, you two both looking to get back in that win column? Has that added a bit of an edge to, yeah, to I prep? Mean, we and, me and Kamara have very, very similar paths from when we were kids to now. Um, you know, wrestling, wrestling in college, competing at that level, and then moving into uh, this sport, 
not thinking we'd ever be this far, mm. uh, taking it one fight at a time, and then all of a sudden we're just, you know, we're the headline in the co-main event. So it's pretty cool to to share that with him. Um, you know, you're obviously pushing each other, you know, as competitors, you know, training together. So, yeah, I mean, nothing can be said. And then I think the biggest factor is, um, you know, leaning on each other when it comes to the, uh, the you know, the, the mental the mental game, you know, I have, I know that he has to go after me. He knows I have to go before him. So, you know, when you get that, like, why am I doing this? It's like, we're, we're all doing this together. Same as uh, you watch any fight, you know, all these guys are doing it. So, um, it's crazy, but it's, it's who we are. It's what we do. It's what we, you know, it's the path that we're on. So how do you think it goes in the main event? Yeah, I think he's going to do be dominant. Dominant as he was in was it, six out of the seven rounds that they fought. Or seven out of the eight rounds that they fought. Yeah. Six out of the eight rounds that they fought. Um, yeah, he's a dominant champion, uh, and he'll be a dominant champion after Saturday night. You still see him as he's the superior fighter, and that's what. I mean, if you watch the fights, then that's the only conclusion you can come to. You know, he was winning. He maybe have lost the first round, you know, two or three minutes of the first round, and about ten seconds of the fifth round. In between that and the first three rounds that they fought, he was dominant. And I see that happening again.